Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. The Ace of Cups is here with the Emperor. The Emperor holds a sword in his hand and the world. So this could be you. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Someone is tapping into their divine masculine energy right now. Um, and you have between these two cards. Wow. Interestingly enough, you see the this woman. She has the, the Ace of Cups. But then you see this, this masculine energy here as the emperor who has a sword in one hand and the world in the other hand. Of course, he has wings as well. This is a, a reading um, I feel strongly for divine, feminine, and masculine, okay? There's a lot of things that have been happening with the, um, I'm just going to say like the Twin Flame Collective, and I feel that the blockages are really being removed. They came out in the reading yesterday, um, and I said, you know, God is truly working miracles for those people who have operated out of pure love and light with all of the different um, evil tactics that have been used against various people who uh, would actually like to come into union. Now, keep in mind, coming into union, this could be you coming into union with just yourself. Um, those those people in your life who typically are karmic soulmates or even, you know, a twin flame who may be in a karmic energy, they teach you a lot about the shadow aspect of yourself so that you first can come into union. But I'm seeing here that that is exactly what has happened. Um, there's a divine feminine energy out here now who is being prepared for like a new emotional experience. There's a romantic relationship. There's good friendships, um, mending of family issues. There, there's something here happening. You also could be experiencing with the Ace of Cups here. Because you see like this dolphin is on this card, you, your connection to spirit, your connection to um, higher realms, it's become, it, it's strengthening. Um, you're finding home within this emotional, spiritual, um, like your spiritual body, your, it's starting to feel normal to you. Um, th this is very, very, very spiritual what I'm sensing here, but it's. Yesterday in the reading, I was saying after the hurricane, and that's sort of what I feel. Now. It's like, it's cleanup time. Um, but what the Spirit is showing me right now is, it's like a, um, I can see, this is so strange. I see like a mobile, a mobile home park, and there's a bunch of trailers, you know, and they've all been thrown everywhere. And it's like there's a purse, there's a few people, and their trailers weren't weren't hit. Whatever has come through as this storm, you were kept safe, but it, it hit very, very, very close to home. It got really close to home, but you were you were spared. For some of you, this is something that has actually happened or Please be careful, but in the future, you could have a, a situation that is very close to home to hit, like a freak accident, and you will be safe. You will be protected. Some of you, as a result of spell work, magic, and other things, I feel like people, they have been able to, for sure, like, access your energy. But I did a reading a few days ago, and I was saying, also, whatever the, the spell work or the rituals were, you know, people really thought this time they had it in the bag. And they may have accessed your energy for a moment, but as quickly, as soon as they got it, they lost it. Um, the analogy on that reading, two or three days ago, I was saying like a duress code, you know, it's like a, an alarm system in a home. Somebody is coming in and they're, they're forcing entry into your home and they're telling you to put your code in. You don't actually put your code in, you put in the duress code which sends out a silent alert. Your spiritual team, they have already been alerted and someone around you or someone in your energy, they didn't know that you had that ability to um, have that type of connection to source without saying anything, showing anything, or doing anything. And when you're dealing with people who, you know, are very dark, I'm just going to say, you know, witches and, and warlocks, they're constantly doing things with the use of spell work, but then they'll run across a person who is truly an emperor, you know, whether male or female, a true divine feminine, true divine masculine, who doesn't have to um, lean on, on anything else other than their connection to God for them to have certain things to happen. And that's where you are truly set apart. 
this emperor right now has gotten the truth about something that was that they were once a part of that was very worldly is what i'm saying so you have a lot of divine masculines right now who are seeing the truth and it's going to help them to recognize the divine feminine energy easily because their logic is being kicked into gear where it's not only logic that they're using but they are becoming they're they're tapping more into this feminine energy or this feminine energy is getting close to this divine masculine that is allowing them to take this ace of cups where they're now um these masculines perhaps whether male or female again who are very structured and they use you know just pure logic and they are you know doing things that are very worldly they are now tapping into um their emotions, they are becoming more aware of the spirit realm and how they are acting and what they're manifesting here in the 3D. So this is saying that a lot of people right now are choosing to be in this emperor energy. They're doing things with the emperor ace of cups. They're doing things out of love. They're building a foundation out of true love. They're trying to build something that is pure. And here we have the four of wands. You have the Renewal card, the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, and here's the Moon and the Seven of Cups. I don't know why Spirit has me pulling cards like this, but um, it's I'm just being obedient right now. And here's the Ace of Swords. Wow. I'm, I'm just going to pull the cards like this and get into this. Um, the Four of Wands and the Renewal card here. So this Renewal card is like, the ju it's like Judgment. So again, someone here is looking over their past. They are they they're being forced now. Judgment Day is here. They have to face face God. They have to face themselves. And then the Four of Wands is here. There is a, a for sure um, a connection here. I feel that there are people also who are coming into the awareness that they do have like a divine counterpart. Whether you're with that person, you've already met them. Um, or you haven't met them. Someone here is waking up to something um, spiritually, possibly something in their past life, something from a different timeline. And they're realizing now with this Ace of Cups and the Emperor that there is something here that is worthy of celebration here. The Four of Wands with the Judgment. Someone is making a decision now to leave the world behind and go into a spiritual union with themselves, with God, and possibly with um, a God-ordained spouse. It's something here now about true unity. People are putting their differences aside and they're they're going towards um, situations where there is fellowship involved. And when I say that, I'm saying I'm, I'm seeing people of different backgrounds, different races, different cultures, different religions, um, you know, people who wouldn't normally come together. They're coming together now because they're putting the the. The, the drama aside, um, a lot of people are going to be healing things within their family, but this is now making the decision that, okay, it's time to heal. A lot of you are making the decision. It's time to build that home. It's time to start a family. It's time to get married. It's time to just be happy. It's time to celebrate. This is what comes after the hurricane. It's like, okay, yeah, all of your stuff is kicked all around on the ground uh, from this storm, but of course, you know, after every storm, every after every natural disaster happens, a crew has to come in and clean up. And you get to rebuild. You know, it's it's like there this is just time to rebuild. Okay. The seven of cups is here in the moon. So there's been a lot of illusions here. Someone is now listening to their intuition. They're receiving signs. Somebody is realizing that there was a lot of confusion here. Um when it comes to romantic situations, someone is finally realizing, especially like the divine masculines, that to have a bunch of options is not actually feeding their soul. People are realizing that they want soul food and not just eye candy. The moon is here. Someone here has been under the impression that by having a lot of options and being in this state of constant confusion, um, it's just not the way to go. So now... It's like people are looking over their past and they're realizing where they went wrong or, you know, when they met a particular person that they were celebrating with and how this situation kind of went downhill. They're seeing now that it's time to stop procrastinating. It's time to see situations for what they truly are and to move forward. This is with the Seven of Cups and the Moon. 
it's a lot of secrets and illusions, but the moon also brings a lot of clarity. Because you should be able to see what, what lies behind the moon. But it, it means that you can't be afraid of your own shadow. You have to see it for what it truly is. A lot of people in the collective now are going to have to see, yes, you, you did sleep with the demon. You, you did let that person in your life. You did stay in this situation for too long. Yes, you did it. It's nobody else's fault. You did that. Okay, now you know you did it and, and it wasn't the right thing to do. Now it's time to rebuild. It's time to give yourself a bit of grace, some mercy, forgive yourself and move forward. Because the Ace of Cups, the renewal, the judgment and the Four of Wands, this is for sure saying, oh yeah, it's time for you to build a foundation. It's time for you to start that legacy. It's time for you to have successful relationships. It's time for some of you to come into a union. Some of you, your foundation, it will not be solid without a particular person being in your life because that's just your soul contract. If you're meant to have a child, you have, you have to eventually procreate with somebody else. But the, the assignment, the contract here is not just about another person. It's also, it's just your divine contract. It's your contract with source. I feel like God is telling a lot of people now, it's time for you to do things from a place of love. It's time for you to be willing to make sacrifices to get on the path that I've been calling you to. So yeah, now you have to fight all these battles. Okay, now it's like it's time for you to receive the rewards and recognition. Once you are crowned as a champ, you have to go out in the world and you have to manifest. You have to walk, talk, act, sleep accordingly to who you are as this divine being. The magician card here. There's a lot that's being manifested and it's going to really tap into your heart chakra. But you have Ace of Cups. That's like heart chakra energy and the emperor. This is you putting into action, doing things that you truly, truly love. Here's a six of wands here. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This energy is so good. It's so, so good. This is victory, success. This is you making choices from a, from a, a place of the heart. No longer doing things from a place of conditioning. No longer doing things because you're afraid of, you know, what's on the other side. But it's truly going after what makes your heart sing, no matter what anybody else says. The Ten of Pentacles is here with the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you are trying to manifest right now and the Six of Wands, it's going to bring you so much happiness. It's victory and success. Whether it's a job, it's a relationship, it's a new home, it's starting a business. All you have to do now, the King of Wands is here. The King of Wands with the Six of Wands is saying that you need to pull out your magic wand. Not literal magic, but it's time for you. you you're, you've been given a, a wand of the, the Midas touch right now. If you are naturally just very ambitious and your energy has been low, it's time now for you to do whatever it takes for you to step into a leadership role. You need to be very clear about your vision right now. And that's what the enemy has been trying to do. You see all this great energy here. And then it's the seven of cups and the moon is here. I'm just going to move that out of the way because the illusion was put here on purpose so that you would not actually have victory and success when it comes to whatever this four of wands situation is for you. Some of you, it's a lot of different people have come towards you lately and they're in a very low vibrational energy. This was the universe's way of testing to see can you recognize good from bad? Can you recognize when something is being sent to you as a test for you to move away from? Before you receive these type of blessings, you for sure, you're going to have to battle a few demons. These type of blessings will not just be handed to you. And look at this, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Justice card. And here's Wise Counsel. That's God. This is you also looking over unwise choices that you've made or you've been around people and you know they've made unwise choices. There's a lot of people around you who have turned their back to God, to their purpose. They've made a lot of unwise choices and they've been in your life trying to confuse you, trying to seduce you on purpose. And this could have had you feeling like you were in some kind of mental entrapment. But that, that too is another illusion. That The illusion that, you know, you can't live this set apart life because it's too hard. You can't live your life being close to God because it's too hard or it's not enough fun. People have come around you on purpose. They've been sent to you to cause you to want to gamble your life away. They want you to make unwise choices. 
You need to avoid people who don't have the same moral compass, who lack integrity like you. And it can be people who don't have much, and it can be people who have everything as far as in the material sense. But people who are lacking spiritually, you need to stay away from them. And this right here, by you knowing the truth and walking in, in your truth, is how you receive justice every single time. You may have a lot of ideas right now. You have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles out here. This is all new beginnings. And the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles, this is wealth. It's legacy. This is your karmic justice. And it comes from, like I said, you understanding that, no, you don't want to have a lot of different options. You understanding the difference in quality and quantity. You're not going out here and allowing confusion. See, a lot of people, they wanted to do confusion and, and send chaos and conflict. They wanted you to go out and overindulge in things that weren't good for you. Okay? They wanted you to do anything that, that was necessary for you to pretty much sell your soul. For the people who have decided to really detox, cleanse, and clear. Look at that, the sun. This is what you're going to receive. It's going to be a time of a lot of joy, a lot of success, peace, harmony, balance. Literally, like, magical opportunities coming. You're going to have the Midas touch. And it is because you are cleansing and clearing everything that no longer serves you. It's not just you saying it, but you actually being intentional with all of your actions moving forward. Saying no. If, if, if you have friends and family around you, if you know that you want to eat a certain way and they don't. And the thing is, it's not for you to condemn or even judge other people. But you just have to walk in this knowing of who you are. And know what you're willing to accept and not accept. Here's the three of cups here. And the balance card. A lot of peace, balance, and harmony. This card even says the power of diversity. So again, like I said before. This is like that temperance energy. For people to come together as divine beings, earth angels, chosen ones, a lot of people come from a different walk of life from you, but they still have a very, very important um, role just on this planet. Everyone has their own soul purpose. And this is a lot of divine beings who are about to cross paths with one another and come together. Some are going to come together in very serious um, friendships, partnerships, some romantic partnerships. There is for sure a lot of love here. But the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, the, the Page of Cups is saying it's time for you to just have an open heart. Just like the Ace of Cups, it's something that brings you some type of emotional contentment. It could be a new friend. It could be it's a soulmate energy. That could be just a new friend. It could be you connecting with a long lost family member. It could also be a romantic partner. But there's a lot here of you connecting with other people who are very like minded. Who are part of your soul tribe. And the three of pentacles is you connecting with people who feel the same way that, that you feel about life and love. And you guys being able to come together and actually do what you love together. And you will receive a lot of recognition for this. Whatever this is, though, you still have to, you don't have to walk in fear, but you need to understand the, the difference in being fearful and protecting yourself. Okay, you need to protect whatever it is that you're building because the seven of swords is here. A lot of people are still going to send you this, this bad energy. The bad juju because you have so many blessings here. But you have to think about even if you were to be like a a, a well-known star or celebrity. You know, these people, they, they have people around them that protect them. But you also have to think too, in order to get to the, a place like that, do you know how to protect your own or your own energy? Do you know what it's like for every person to be looking at you and many of them to have the evil eye? A lot of you... Honestly, like with the love and light, that's good, but you still have to have an understanding of your shadow. You're going to have to know how to protect yourself, whether you're operating out of light or darkness. And darkness doesn't mean you're doing anything bad, but every person has a shadow side. And this is about with the temperance, it's like balancing. 
balancing the water with the air, balancing your emotions with your logic. Again, it's the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. That's your emotions and then there's structure and logic. There's feminine energy and masculine energy. There's dark, there's light. It's good, it's evil. And it's like, you're going to have to learn how to decipher and discern what type of energy is coming at you and how you need to protect yourself when it comes towards you. Someone in the background has possibly been doing something um, to take money from you or energy. This energy has been coming out a lot lately. I'm getting a mother and a daughter. This Nine of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles here. Seven of Swords. And then here is the Sun. The Eight of Cups. Ten of Cups. Someone here is soon going to find out the truth about like a mother and a daughter duo. Um, or just a person and possibly um, the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be a mother and daughter, but there's some type of, you could call it dynamic duo here. There's a younger person and an older person. This could be any person. This could be a man or woman and someone in their family or them working with um, like a high priest or something like that. But somebody here has learned how to make money and how to survive by stealing from other people. Someone here is very, very good at exploiting other people. And I'm hearing specifically energy harvesting. I feel like there is possibly a masculine here who has been in some type of family dynamic or situation or connected to someone like this or these two people. This could be a, a mother and a sister, whatever it is. There's the people out here who have been really, um, living a very fruitful and abundant life because of the things that they did in, in the dark. They created all of these illusions. This could for sure be someone who is very religious as well with the wise counsel being here next to the moon. This gives me very much like someone in the church possibly exploiting other people for their own selfish gain. This is about to be um, highlighted and, and recognized and exposed. And a lot of people are going to walk away from whoever this person is or this group and go on to peaceful calmer waters. There's for sure like a lot of masculines who have been in. Um, I'm just going to say possibly like relationships or family dynamics with women who they have siblings or they have a mother or an aunt who's been doing spell work to keep masculines bound so that they could thrive, you know, pretty much thrive and survive off of their masculine's energy and their financial abundance. Well, that's, that's about to end. You have large groups and corporations also who... People have been in the background just stealing, robbing people blind for their own personal gain. Those things are coming to an end. So a lot of people, if, if people have stolen your energy, it's being returned. It's, it's something here just with um, universal law and balance. There's, there's restoration here. Six of Swords and the World card. Exactly. Six of Swords and the World. This is moving on a peaceful calm waters. It's like the the jig is up whatever somebody has been doing to steal from someone whether it was stealing money or just stealing energy to make money that's coming to an end here and somebody knew that this was coming and they tried to run from the truth coming out the seven of swords somebody here was trying to get away i'm also seeing though someone here has been very strategic in trying to create an exit strategy to get away from whoever um the people are that they know has been working against them. This There's a man here who is like running away from this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. He's running away. Somebody here has had to be very strategic in getting away. I feel this, what I'm seeing, it's like a person here has come to realize that the people that have been around them have been doing spell work on them. And this could be friends, this could be family, this could be a lover. Someone is realizing that they've been sleeping with the enemy. Someone that they that they loved, that they held in high regard and thought was of the light. You know, with the sun being here and just possibly blessed. No, those people, they weren't blessed. These are people who are thieves. And someone is realizing that. And then here with the Six of Swords, it's like trying to get away. Someone is literally trying to like seek um, shelter. Maybe not literally but figuratively and spiritually someone is trying to take cover um elsewhere because yeah th like this situation didn't turn out 
the way that they thought it was. It's like someone here thought that they were going to go. It's like, for instance, you think that you're going to go and work for um, a non-profit organization. That's what I'm hearing right now. And all of a sudden, you realize that these people, it's like the non-profit organization that they have. It's really just a front for the fact that they're stealing. That they have several for-profit <laughs> businesses, but they have this non-profit that's only for a cover-up and for tax benefits, and that's it. They're, they're, the, the story of, of their purpose for having this organization, nothing about it is true. So this could be for sure someone like in the church. Someone... Um, claiming that you know they they believe in in God and they're here to protect and to lead p people to you know a more righteous lifestyle. When in actuality, all they really care about is the collection plate. It's that type of energy. Someone you know is luring people in to a situation, and the whole time it's been a cover up. Someone has figured this out now, and they're they're running away from it. This could be you, or this could be someone that you're connecting with. With all of this energy of meeting soulmates, some of you are going to have people who are going to come into your life, and they're coming out of situations like this. And because you, perhaps on your journey, have already gone on through it, it's like God is now going to use you as a guide for this people, this group, or the you know, of people who are coming out of this type of darkness because they just didn't know. This is, again, like the blending of ideas and, and groups and diversity. You know, you, you have some people who are very religious and, and they will tell you, oh, well, no, you know, spell work and witchcraft, it doesn't, that doesn't exist. It's, it's in the Bible. And as a more spiritual person, you can tell this person, you know, I, I understand that you want to pray, but you may want to find out a little bit about some herbs to protect yourself, too. So th this is like a, a new wave of people who are going to be placed in your life for you to kind of teach them and guide you. And that's a beautiful thing because that means that you have leveled up spiritually and you now are becoming wise counsel for other people who just don't know. Here's the six of cups, the nine of swords and the lovers. Yeah, someone here is for sure stressed out about some type of relationship because they're finding out that what they thought was the case is not the case and this could be someone from your past who's learning that they've been in a very bad situation you could have warned them of this and they're seeing the truth about it now and it seems like it's too late because the energy that i'm getting here for a lot of you especially if you've warned people your energy should be focused on the new people that are coming into your life who truly want help now you do what you want to do but for me personally I don't feel like you're meant to necessarily go back and help people who already went against you. Those people need to go to God. They can't go. They can't try to bypass God by trying to get to God through you. No, you need to turn those people away and they need to pay their karmic debts and go to God just like you and everyone else did. I feel like your energy should be open to the people who are truly, truly seeking their higher self and God. Yes, here's the Empress. Wow, the Knight of Cups fell out. The Empress, the Knight of Cups, the Wheel, wow, and the Ace of Wands. So now we have all four Aces. So Divine Feminine, you have a lover that's coming in. And this is going to change your entire life because the things that you and this person do together, the way that you speak, the way that you talk, the way that you build your life with the addition of this energy, this divine masculine energy is going to change everything. This person would want a big role that they're going to play in your life is they're going to protect you spiritually. They're going to protect you. This person has already been protecting you because divine feminines in this time now of, um, in this time where all this stuff is happening, Divine Feminine and Masculine has to step up. But you both have your roles. Divine Feminine right now, like I said, it's sort of like a, a guide. There's people who are ready to create a certain life. Well, you have the fertility, the abundance, and the creativity. So you can guide certain people. But you have a romantic offer or proposal coming in from someone. And you and this person both may be lacking balance in your life. It's something that you have and it's something that they have. And if you were to put it together, it would be perfect. There's something that you're lacking, Divine Feminine. 
this masculine has it. So maybe this masculine, they have the logic, the structure, their discipline. Maybe you're a bit, you're, you're, you're emotional, but for you to be able to transmute negative energy and actually manifest, you need the other half now. So this person is coming in with the Knight of Cups. And then the wheel. It's a fresh new start. This fell right on top of the Seven of Swords. So it's like the, you don't really have to keep worrying anymore about someone taking advantage of you. I feel like a lot of attacks have happened recently where there are so many people who have come towards you to try and trick you and sabotage you to, to uh, sway you into making an unwise choice. I feel like you've finally gotten past that. Now you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands fell right on top of the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. This is a union that will be um, successful because it's highly, highly protected. There is a Seven of Wands. Whoever this person is coming towards you, you know, I don't know how your lifestyle, if they're similar or they could be totally different. But one thing that they are going to do because they've been assigned to do it is to protect you. You and this person have been assigned to protect one another. Because where you're going, it's like you already have the gift. You have the talents. You have the abilities. But you need somebody that's looking after you or guiding you for protection. And you and someone, you are supposed to come together to create something. There could be a business or whatever it is. Page of Wands. It's a lot of fire here. You may have, the, here's a Four of Cups. You may have started to feel like you had missed an opportunity. You did it. Something here was just a test. I feel like for some of you too, especially if someone has been in your life, you and this person both were being tested by God to like your loyalty to, to yourself, your loyalty to God, but also your loyalty to another person was tested. Now, for some of you, this person, they're not physically in your life, but spiritually, you, your loyalty has been tested. God has been looking to see, will you turn your back on him and your destiny, your purpose? At the first sign of trouble. And a lot of you, even when you were bored, discontent, feeling like you had missed an opportunity. At times, you may have even thought that you were failing your spiritual test. You weren't. And for some of you, when you almost missed an opportunity, seriously... This person came into your life. This energy came into your life. There's this, for sure, like this saving grace here. When somebody was just about to miss an opportunity, Six of Pentacles transformation release. You enter their life or, the, or they entered your life. You enter one another's life. And that's where the transformation happened. Somebody here was about to make a really bad mistake. And it could for sure be like this masculine here who has to get away from this Jezebel and her mama. This divine feminine came in and was like, hold on, wait a minute. I think you're divine. But then this man had to still make the choice to get on the path. Somebody here made the choice to get on their divine path. But they're running away from, from hell. They were blindsided. They didn't, they didn't know what they were into. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. But I feel for a lot of you, you probably have already experienced this. You probably have already gotten away from someone very, very karmic. So now when you see somebody else going through it, you can recognize it. Somebody here has a whole exit plan or strategy. They're trying to get away from a wife, a mother, a group, a boss, or something. And this person was really about to miss an opportunity. It's like, honestly, you've saved somebody from being sacrificed. And that is the reason why you're ranking up like this spiritually either they saved you or you saved them but i feel it's a it's um you know this, this is deep it's you save this person from being sacrificed but because you saved them from being sacrificed it also saved you from being sacrificed you and this person both 
it's a true like um divine counterpart situation you and this person saved one another but in different ways some of you you were maybe ready to like give up on your journey as a healer as a light worker you know maybe you were like i'm tired of living this set apart life and this person came in and you ministering to this person and you started to see how it has changed them. It woke you up and it, it made you realize like, oh, wow. Yeah, God is truly using me. But this person was running from something that they didn't even recognize was dark. But them coming around you, you and this person, you were destined to meet one another. Because you and this person, you saved each other. Or you will. You have the Six of Pentacles here, the Transformation and the Release card. These are significant life changes happening. Like all these endings, it's all for a new beginning here. It's like you've given somebody, you and this person have both given one another the strength and the courage to release people, places, things, and situations from your past. Or that things currently in your life that just don't serve you. And this is putting you and someone on the right path. Like the path to go towards your, your destiny. This, this person is 100% supposed to be in your life. If you haven't met them, you will meet them soon. Yeah, it's a part of a spiritual awakening. And this awakening is going to happen fast. Awakening and then the Eight of Wands. When you meet this person, everything is going to speed up so fast because they're a part of your soul purpose. If you've already met this person, you may have noticed that everything started to go really, really fast. I'm hearing somebody say the attacks keep coming back to back to back. It's because there is something here that you're supposed to be fighting with this person. The two of you are you're protecting each other in the spirit. I'm hearing some of the attacks. They keep coming back to back to back. Every time I look up, it's another storm. It's another attack. Somebody does not want you and this person, this divine protector, bodyguard, lover, friend, or whomever. They don't want the two of you together because when the two of you come together, it's too hard for people to sacrifice you. This is this is like true. You know, people talk about twin flames. What I'm reading to me, I, I don't know, because twin. this whole twin flame thing can be a little tricky. I would say this is a kingdom. This is somebody that God has ordained to be in your life. Either they're in your life or they're coming. The hermit is here. Yeah, see the hermit and then the awakening card. This is going within soul searching, finding purpose, spending time alone. Maybe, but sometimes being in hermit mode doesn't really mean necessarily spending time alone. It's self-discovery. You don't have to shut everybody out to discover something about self. But someone here is going through an awakening because I feel like a person has noticed their entire life has been turned upside down, possibly because of their, their connection or the karmic contract that they had to another person, a place, a thing, a business, job, whatever it was. And now someone is, is realizing like, wow, I need to get out of that. For some of you, you are... You're shining light. Like you're, you're showing, you're guiding somebody and you're showing them like, hey, you know, you don't really have to live like that. You don't, you don't have to deal with certain things like that on your job. You don't have to stay in their relationship. You know, someone is looking at you and they're, they're being inspired. Like, wow, I really could live a life and, and be happy and be close to, to God and, and be fruitful and abundant. Somebody is waking up to that idea now, and it's because of you. But it's something about this person that when you look at them, you're realizing that you can live a different way as well. You're realizing that you, I'm sorry, you're, I'm trying to figure out because I'm seeing a lot of different things. You being able to help somebody spiritually here in the 3D is Helping you to become awakened to the fact that like you're truly a like a spirit guide, a healer, a light worker, you're chosen, you're divine. You're seeing now how beautiful it is to help somebody else heal, even if they come from a different walk of life. 
it's 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 okay this person is showing you what it means to love someone unconditionally and that's big because many of you you've gone through the ultimate betrayal so this person is unlocking your heart chakra because after so much betrayal you're seeing the importance now of still being able to love and still being able to stay in the light still learning the importance of being vulnerable and being open even after perhaps you didn't want to see had your enemies been able to keep um which they're never going to stop but what they were trying to do was to force you to think that there was nothing good in your journey of serving god they wanted you to think that being a person of love and light you're going to always get hurt so just stop doing it just join the, the the dark forces like us but because you was like, no, you know, I still think that, you know, love is out there. I think that I should continue to just serve the Lord. They're like, I don't understand. Why didn't you? Because you didn't sell your soul. So whoever this person is in your life or that's entering your life, they're going to show you why it's important to not give up. You and the, It's like for some of you, if this is a person... Whether it's a romantic person or a job opportunity, or whatever, it's it's truly like saving grace, but it's your karmic justice. Because it's something about this situation where the looks of it, I'm sure it's scary because it's like I've been there, I've done that. But God was testing you to see, well, even after you've experienced a lot of loss, will you keep on your path will you keep going will you stay loyal to me because learning how to be good to other people it shows that you can still remain loyal to god no matter what has happened in your life wow there's definitely something here with love for sure it's a, it's, it's a real serious connection with you and another person. Look at this. I just picked up these cards. Six of Cups and the Emperor and the Ten of Wands. Six of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands and the High Priestess. The King of Cups, the High Priestess. Like I just said. Wow. I, I'm, a, I'm not going to keep these cards because I didn't shuffle this deck. I just looked over. You have the Six of Cups, the Emperor, the High Priestess. The emperor and the high priestess. Remember, I, I was speaking about um, the two of you have. There was a reading I did about the emperor and the high priestess like a year ago. Those of you, if you've been following my channel, you resonate with this, this energy. Some of you have already come into contact with someone that is your person. You've been under heavy, heavy spiritual attacks because justice is being served for the two of you to either meet physically or for you to reunite. But the emperor and the high priestess, these two people are very different. The high priestess is sometimes someone who could be modest, um, the type of person who is not easily accessible. They're, they're always noticed, but hardly ever... Um, they're, they're not out. You know, the high priestess lives a certain type of lifestyle. And they have a lot of knowledge. Well, the emperor is someone who, of course, is more like the emperor is like Aries energy. They're they're perhaps extroverted, um, very ambitious. They're all about logic, order, organization, structure. Um, this is your business owner. So this is, again, like I said, two people from two different walks of life coming together who have both shared um, a very similar past. Okay, because the Six of Cups is here and the Ten of Wands. So both of you are coming from a place of lack. The High Priestess perhaps needs more structure and logic. You know, if you are a creator, even entrepreneurs, if, if you're not good with time management structure and having some type of order or organization, it can be very hard for you. But a lot of people are free thinkers. So you need that. The energy, that masculine energy that comes in and says, hey, you need to get a system here. This emperor may be someone who is very systematic and, and logic in all their approaches. And the divine feminine is saying you need to learn how to be more intuitive because sometimes it seems like you don't have common sense because you use so much logic. So the two of these people together can come into a union and help one another. 
the six of cups and the ten of wands for some of you this what i'm getting the six of cups and the ten of wands is the two of you you were born into some type of karmic debt you inherited some type of karmic debt because you're meant to break something off of your bloodline king of cups the knight of swords this person's coming towards you with nothing but love and yes they do want to be in a union with you this is for a lot of you this is like a union for um lovers that's coming but i'm telling you the way you and this person meet it's like your your journey and everything is so similar but you and this person i don't know it's like you come from two totally different um timelines realms or dimensions but it was written for you and this person to me this could be somebody um and I, I always get this whenever i do these reads it's sort of like um the if you follow my channel it's certain movies that i always make reference to like 50 shades of gray you know you have a billionaire that falls in love with a, a total just nerd who recently graduates college um and it was it was a, a purely faded meeting that led to a faded relationship. Or you look at movies like Twilight. You know you have a an old old vampire who falls in love with a human, and everything about you you come from different worlds. But it was written for you and this person to meet. It was faded, and it, it's it's happening this way because what God is doing is saying that a lot of different people can come together to build His kingdom. You don't have to necessarily be from the same cast and creed or whatever. It doesn't matter about your, your past or any of that. If he has decided that you and another person are supposed to come together to co-create with him being at the center of it, then you're all you need to do is be obedient. But see, the world has been trying to condition people to think that, oh, no, you can't be with this type of person because of that reason. Or you shouldn't like that person because of this. Or, you know, if you're religious, you really shouldn't be with a person that's spiritual, you know, or if you're wealthy, you shouldn't be with a person who has a very small home business and they're not yet a six figure earner. You know, It's just conditioning. These are people who are choosing to move away from all of the conditioning and go after true love love that has no no bound no conditions and that's the type of love that will be blessed so you have all these people seven of cups five these people who have made unwise choices they are they become obsessed with the idea of you having true love because they gave that up these are people who was just like well no i don't i don't believe in true love show me the money or whatever the case is now that they see after you took the long road home, you re you're rebuilding your life. You're going to have true love and also wealth, abundance, like a legacy. This is proving a lot of people wrong. A lot of people are realizing, like, wow, uh, I really made the wrong decisions in the, in the matrix. And they're not going to get out. They're going to walk around that same maze around you and somebody. Both, you're both right at the exit. You're about to get out of the maze, like, for good. You've already gotten out. Ace of Wands, wow. Ace of Wands. <laughs> you have the Ace of Wands here. Here's the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Something is happening here in Taurus season. The Queen of Pentacles could for sure be like Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy with the Hierophant here. The Queen of Pentacles, this is something for some of you that's coming into your life. It's going to be honestly a bit... Um, more traditional not traditional in the sense of like how can i say this i feel like two people coming together you are going to start compromising when it comes to some of your um you're going to compromise but again your core beliefs are the same so ace of wands here but it's like you're walking away from something and you're going on a new journey. The Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant here. This gives me very strong like Taurus, Capricorn type of energy, Virgo. Like you're very clear about what you want to do in the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's a turning point here. Everything is going to happen very, very fast. Some of you could be getting into a relationship with somebody and maybe you're a spiritual leader or they're like a spiritual leader or that's what you are destined to become. Um, and it doesn't have to be, it's just people of, of high value and integrity. And I'm not talking about money, status, or title. I mean, people who, when, when a person talks to you and you share their, your testimony, 
it motivates people to eight of wands to want to really, really get started and, and have a new life. The queen of pentacles is sitting beside this hierophant. Some of you, seriously, like you have a very high value masculine. And again, when I say value, I'm not talking about money. I mean, this person is spiritually wealthy. They're, this is a righteous person. You're going quickly into your destiny. This three of swords energy, this is over. This is why the wheel of fortune is here. The wheel of fortune is shifting. You're no longer going to be in this heartbroken energy. There's no more third parties, nine of cups, two of cups. And, oh, king of pentacles, four of wands. I, I'm done. You got the queen of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the four of wands, and the hierophant. This is your God-ordained spouse, period. Nothing or nobody can change this. Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. It's the relationship that you've always wanted. This person is not like what you have on your vision board. I've been saying that for months. You and this person will grow in love. You won't fall in love. You will grow in love with this person. Because this person is on your path of your journey. One of you is here to protect the other while the other is here to guide. And that's really how it is with the feminine and the masculine. However the roles are in this situation, the two of you, you guide and protect one another. This person will always be that this person is not going anywhere. Because whoever you evolve into, it's they're evolving into pretty it's like you're the same you're the same I want to say like you're the same person. <laughs> But and it, it's sort of like that. It's just your, your timelines are a little bit different. That's it. Wow. I cannot. The queen and king of pentacles here in the four of wands. And y'all saw up here, we got the ace of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Oh, you and this person will be very wealthy. Your energies together, it, it's, it's, it's nothing but wealth. Death. Transformation. Rebirth. And here's the hermit card. There's an ending, a major transformation where somebody here has done some soul searching. And the light that you found within yourself, this person, they, they walk right into their light. You and this person both experience endings and you have a light. You went to their light, they came to your light. Oh my God, this is just, look at that, seven of wands. This person, they're like, I'll fight for you. I'll this person fights for you. They protect you. And you do the same thing for this person. <sighs> Empress. Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles. There's about to be a proposal here for you and this person to work together and to build. The Page of Pentacles is a grounded, stable, new offer. It's in the beginning stages, but still, the Page of Pentacles, eventually it's going to be in the hands of the Knight of Pentacles, but here you have it. That's the King of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Pentacles. You and this person, you're not going to just fall in love. You're going to grow in love with this person. And you're going to build something because I'm telling you, the two of you, you have the same core beliefs. And that is what's important. Wow. Wow, wow. This is just... Seriously, beautiful. <laughs> 18 is all good. 18 breaks down to the number nine. Something here is it's almost complete. It's all good. That's what I'm saying. It's like this calm after the storm. It's all good. It doesn't matter how much junk or chaos or conflict is around you. When it comes to you and for some of you, you and your person... Nothing can touch you. You're in a bubble. It's all good. It doesn't matter what it looks like around you. For the two of you, it's all good. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, what's this? Anger is here. I feel like this cycle of being angry is about to end. Yeah, teaching. Yeah, 14 breaks down to 5, 28 breaks down to 10, 18 breaks down to 9. This is a major shift or change here where you guys, this is to me, I'm getting transmutation. You're learning how to turn your pain into purpose. 
it's all good. You have a lot of things in your life that have hurt you. Yes, here you have it, healing energy. A lot of things that have hurt you and made you very, very upset and angry. Spirit is coming in to say, it's okay, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Whatever you lost, that's okay. Whatever they stole, that's okay too. Don't worry about it. You're about to go on a path where you're going to be teaching people what you know. You're going to be sharing your testimony. So you have to experience these test trials and tribulations. Because now you're moving into balance. This is card number one. So you have here 20 and now number one. Healing energy. So in order for you to become this light worker, this chosen divine being, um, for some of you, a healer, a shaman, or whatever it is, in order for you to become this wife, this husband, this mother, this father, you had to go through every single test, trial, tribulation, hardship, spiritual attack, all for this reason, because again, you and somebody are supposed to be teaching the masses. If not teaching them, you're just simply supposed to be teaching your own loved ones. People in your community that, hey, you can walk with God and be okay. You have your past, present, and future. Wow, and death. You're, th there's a whole timeline here that's just over. Struggle. No more, no more being angry. No more struggling. No more financial constraints. None of that. And then here you have duality. Look at this. Duality and sexual energy. But look at how you have the white bird and the, the black bird. This is you coming, sexual energy. You and someone are coming into union with one another. And then look at how this, um, I guess it's like a horse. You see how it's black but it has white hair. What did I say? One of you is the is the, like the head and one is the feet. <laughs> can you, I mean, can you believe that? Seriously. One of you is going to always be there to guide and the other is going to protect. And the two of you are going to change roles depending on your assignment. You and this person have been assigned to one another to do God's work this lifetime. Retreat and burden. Wow. Retreat, burden, and home. This person is coming home to you, but both of you are going through a transformation. You have to go through this transformation to grow and learn the importance of discernment. And this meant that you guys had to go through betrayals with people around you in your circle to learn that you need to retreat away from certain type of people because they cause a burden. You and th This is guiding you, you and this person home because it's going to be very clear with you and this person that the, pl the, the place where you can have peace and protection is with one another. Because the two of you, you have... You have to go on assignments to get rid of these people outside of you. This is for growth. Yeah, you're integrating spiritually with this person and energetically. And this is someone who is going to honor your energy and your essence. This person, like I said, they're going to protect you because they already know. This person knows you in the spirit. So they know when you're, uh, you're being attacked. And they know why everybody else is attacking you. This person knows what's inside of you because it's inside of them too. Ooh, my goodness. This is, this is amazing. I absolutely love this. Wow. Healing energy moving into balance. You're transmuting the anger. You're you're coming into um and I talked about this recently. Actually, I had this conversation with someone a, a family member of mine about the stages of grief, you know. You're coming out of this stage of anger and you're moving into acceptance. You're realizing like, yeah, a lot of the things that may have hurt you so deeply it made you so sad and angry. You really can't change it. So now you have to just transmute the energy. And as you do this for yourself, you're going to attract other people who are doing the same thing. But one of these people that's going to come towards you that is transmuting and healing, the two of you are going to end up together. And you're going to be able to go and teach other people the importance of doing that. And this is beautiful because, of course, everyone is not meant to be um, a star or anything like that, but just even the important, when you think about being able to teach people in your family, something about healing or being able to teach your children about healing, whether you already have children or, you know, you want to have children, just having this type of mindset, imagine how much better people in the future will be. Because a lot of us, we didn't have people who knew how to tell us anything at all about shadow work, healing, the, the transmutation of energy or anything. 
So imagine you and someone both coming together and you're spiritually aware um, because of your own journey and you can actually teach, like I said, your own friends, family, or, or for some of you, your children, the importance of them healing. Because the two of you, before you build something together, you both had to heal. This is like the best, this is going to be one of the best parts of your life, actually being with a true um, soulmate. Soulmate, divine counterpart, twin, point, whatever title you want to give to it. It's, it's a beautiful connection with someone that's going to do life with you. Harvest. Wow. See? And it says here, watch out. Ooh. Now, watch out again because with seeing harvest and watch out, watch out because you need to be aware of people around you who are envious and jealous. They're, they're, they're constantly trying to come in to steal this harvest from you because they know that you're ready for love and someone else is ready for love that's entering your life or they're already in your life. Take it however it resonates. But you've already planted a seed. This requires patience, but this seed is going to grow into that huge, huge ace of pentacles. You have an amazing harvest coming. Yeah, this person, they speak your love language. And what you guys are spiritually communicating to one another is that, yes, you are meant to build a future. But be careful because you have somebody with control issues who was not ready for love. You need to be careful of this person trying to come in and communicate with you, whether in the physical or in the, in the spirit. Because you definitely have someone who is in regret now. Somebody, they weren't willing to go on this journey with you. They're in regret. They want to come in and sabotage you so that you don't have this harvest season with this beautiful new connection. That's not even something that you need to focus on. Be aware of it and keep pushing. I'm not even going to give this any type of energy in this reading. Somebody from your past, though, they have very, very bad control issues. They were not willing to work with you or see things your way. This person, now they're crying. They want to communicate with you. They care nothing at all about your love language. They only wanted you to love them according to their love language. And they care nothing about yours. You have someone in your life now or about to enter your life. They speak your love language. And they want to build a future with you. Do not Mercury retrograde, y'all. Pay attention. Don't let these people come in with those sob stories. Because you have an exciting new beginning. A new chapter here. With somebody who really wants to build a future with you. And if you can keep this low vibing energy out, you will finally receive everything that you've always wanted. There's past life and disharmony here. You have a past life karmic soulmate that's going to try to disrupt your connection with this new past life um, soulmate. But all these people from you, a lot of you, they're from a past life, Okay. You've, you've known them before, but you're you're going into a union, sexual healing. You're integrating energetically and spiritually with a person here. Your telepathy with this person is going to really increase. So these third party energies, they have to be um, kicked out of your energy because for someone here, it was love at first sight. So as you continue to focus on self-love and healing, it's going to lead you to a divine union. And then you will have a lot of security. What I say, this person, they're going to protect you. And you're going to protect this person. Look at how she's got her hand around this man's neck. And he's right up under her. Whoever this person is, I'm telling you, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm, I'm letting some of you guys right now, if you want to listen, if you're single, you better enjoy it. Because when this person comes, they're not ever leaving. First of all, this person is already in your energy watching you like a hawk. But when they manifest in your life physically, they're not leaving. There will be no third party. And some of you right now, you have a third, that past person, a lot of you, or someone currently in your life, take it however it resonates. There's a person that is, um, they're screwing up your telepathic communication with your true counterpart. This person could be sending you sexual energy as well. You need to be very careful. You need to cleanse and clear your energy out. Make sure that your, your channel, your divine channel is clear. Because somebody is in the background, look, Obsessed, stalking the spine, looking at your social media, trying to see have you moved on, what are you doing? Because I'm telling you, they, they're ready to come in to sabotage something that you already have or something that's coming in for you. It's protected, but you have to do your due diligence um, to protect it as well. Look at that, the bottom of the deck, union coming together. Oh, my goodness. It's happening for somebody. 
you should just type in the comments you manifest this reading that this is yours you have here the guidance card trust the signs your spirit guides are guiding you and supporting you yeah your spiritual team is for sure they're protecting you from whoever this is um spying on you constantly i see fire here and manifesting options more than one love telepathy some of you, a fire sign could be significant or you are yourself um, manifesting. There's a lot of passion here, but manifesting and fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that could be your sign or it could be significant with someone that you are manifesting. Yeah, someone here has to make a decision. And look at this. You see on this card here, it sells um, an apple and a donut. It's Are you going to choose something good or something bad? Do you want to choose... Um, eye candy, this pretty donut, or you want to choose soul food, an apple, something that's going to be good for you. And someone now is, you have here the telepathy card and runner. Someone was running away from a connection, but within a few weeks, something is going to change. And for some of you, if you have a person in your life or just in your energy, these people who have been watching, monitoring you and spying on you obsessively, they already know that this counterpart is in your energy. So they're doing everything to make this person run away from you. But within the next few weeks, you're going to be very happy because, yeah, there's good changes here. You're taking action and so is this person that's supposed to be in your life. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So by Gemini season, which would be um, the lover's card is Gemini. There's going to be a lot of changes. This You're going to have true love coming very soon. Good karma. Compromise. Making your work. <laughs> coming back together. And look at here. The third party. The third party is very confused. They, they haven't been able to see clearly. Whoever this third party person is, this person is going to be watching, stalking, hacking, spying, and monitoring on you and this person forever. Because you and somebody are coming together and this Jezebel was not able to win. They just couldn't. This person did not want to let somebody go. And that's going back to like that masculine energy that's getting away from like this mother and daughter or this family. This person will refuse us to let go. They want to celebrate with this masculine. And this masculine has already left the building. Within a few months. <laughs> yeah. Even once you and this person, you're going to always have to protect yourself and your union. And some of you, you become a master at protecting yourself. But now as you start thinking about having um, new loved ones, new additions to your family, whether it's like a, a romantic um, interest choose, if it's a, a pet or a child or whatever, you're going to have to get in the, in the habit now of protecting them too because everything connected to you is being attacked. So for some of you, it's like if a person chooses you, you can expect whoever this karmic person is a few months down the line, they'll be right back at trying to attack you and this person. I feel like this is one of those situations every time you and someone kind of meet um, some type of milestone together, you can expect a, an attack. So this is just a um, look at this here. Fam oh, my gosh. Family, children. And I love you. It's here. Signs. And then secret admirer. This person is saying that they're watching you. And then here is a soulmate card. Whoa, oh, my God. And after that is proposal. And then jealousy. <laughs> left out in the cold. Somebody here is left out in the cold and regretful. And this is a masculine energy. So for you and somebody, both of you have someone from your past that's angry that they missed out. But somebody loves you. They want to start a family with you. They, they're always secretly watching you. They're paying attention to the signs. They already know that there is some type of um, proposal. And, and let me just say this too. The person that I'm picking up on for some of you, obviously if you're here, you're watching Tara. I'm, you could be new to your journey or you've been on your journey. For some of you, you're going to go into a very serious connection or a union with someone. I don't feel like they're very spiritual, not like you. 